Welcome everyone, you got Blythe coming at you with another St. Louis Cardinals Fantasy Draft Series on MLB 15 The Show. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. So, what are we going to do today? I think we will, first we'll take a look at our pitching rotation, just to kind of get a idea of what we'll be going in with. I mean, I when I did the draft, I kind of wanted to draft young, as you will see later in the video, how young I'm really talking. Like, I mean, Jose Fernandez is a no-brainer to start to build a rotation around. He's 22 years old. He's a 92 overall and a potential late, and he's already a, he's already a monster. As as long as he can stay healthy, I have faith that he can lead this rotation for 10, 15 years. Okay, maybe 15 years is a little long, but everybody catches my drift. I got AJ Burnett and Mark Burley, just kind of veteran arms in the rotation, and I kind of waited to draft a pitcher after Jose Fernandez for a little while, so kind of did, it was slim pickings. And I got Zach Wheeler. Hopefully he turns out. Maybe he won't. I, you never know. I he, he might, but I can't be too high on him. Right now, all my hopes and dreams lie on Jose Fernandez's arm, and as long as he can stay healthy. And our lineup is just like our pitching rotation will be eventually is very, very young. I mean, the oldest person in, that's actually going to stay in our lineup right now is Matt Adams. Because I am definitely not keeping Nick Swisher around because he's, he's awful. It's just plain and simple. And then uh, Chris Bryant. Jock Peterson. I could have stopped the draft there and been happy, but I, I also got Devin Travis. I really like him. Toronto Blue Jays second baseman. Now he's a Cardinal. Actually, wouldn't be surprised to see that one day. But <clears throat> all right, we're gonna go. I got to do some cleanup of this here in a little while, but I will not do that on camera. Actually, maybe I will because I want to get some simulating done tonight, so I will actually take care of that in just a second. Kind of go through a rundown of the rest of the league's pitching rotations in just a second. If I can figure out what I'm doing here, Jesus. Alright, I mean the Diamondbacks, their ace is Cole Hamels. It's not bad with Lance Lynn right behind him, Carlos Carrasco, that's a good one, two, three. Chris Sale at the Rockies. His career just ended. So did Julio Tejeron's. And it, they, they got like three of the top pitchers, top young pitchers that could lead any rotation, and they all got to the Rockies. They're just going to be... Never mind. Off my soapbox there. David Price to the Dodgers. That's good. But that's really about all they got. They got some veterans, but other than that, not much to write home about there. Padres have a god-awful rotation. Of course the Giants got Madison Bumgarner. What else is new? Clayton Carshaw to the Orioles. It's a little... They got a pretty good rotation too. Shelby Miller's. If anybody's been watching the Braves play lately, Shelby Miller's the man. Jeff Samarja on the Red Sox, but just like in real life, the Red Sox have a horrible rotation. Yankees, not too bad. Could be better. I mean, Jacob Degrom, you don't want as your ace. You want to get somebody better than that, but. Felix Hernandez to the Rays. It's weird seeing him in different colors in the Mariners. Not that I would argue that being an A's fan. I would love to see him go somewhere else. Jordan Zimmerman and Justin Verlander. Toronto. Oof. 
Matt Harvey and Steven Strasburg on the White Sox. That is a scary rotation just with those two alone. Best hit, hitting pitcher in baseball right there, Bartolo Colon. Tyson Ross, A.J. Griffin. The Dickey. Max Scherzer on the Twins. Annabelle Sanchez seems like they're taking 2013's Detroit Tigers pitching rotation. John Lester on the Angels. It's not a lot of good rotations I'm seeing. Like maybe one or two good guys, but I think we can actually contend with the rotation we got. So Dallas Keuchel. I really, really like Dallas Keuchel. I might eventually try to trade for him. And being on the A's, I won't have to give up that much. Because eventually they'll try to trade him anyway. I mean, that is how the A's work, right? <clears throat> Corey Kluber went to the Rangers. Still not see. Ooh. Wow. The Phillies. They had a home run with their top two pitchers. As soon as I said I wasn't seeing much, that popped up. Reds don't have a too bad of one either. Yeah, there's a lot of pitching stats better than ours, but I, for, for sure not the worst. This one's going to be the best one. It's just, can they be good in Colorado? Alright, in our lineup, I'm not going to take, I'm not going to go as in-depth with the lineups. I'm just going to point out some of the big names. If I miss some, say something about it. Pujols on the Dodgers. He just went across the, across the highway. Downtown. D. Gordon plays for the Giants. Looks like the Giants could have a chance of being pretty dangerous this year. Nelson. Oh, wow. That's just not nice, Boston. The Brain Monster is going to be abused this season. Cleveland has Troy Tulowitzki, David Ortiz, Encarnacion, Hanley Ramirez. It's a good three through six. Dave, uh, didn't even see David Rice sitting there. Wow. Must be blind. Not really seeing too much of anything right now. Anthony Rizzo and Jose Batista. God, I would be happy to have that on the A's. Ooh, Giancarlo Stanton in Seattle. With Corey Dickerson. Old Wong. Oh, wow. Giancarlo Stanton has a chance to lead the league in RBIs with these two in front of him. You know who I didn't see in anybody's rotation was Adam Wainwright. I don't know if these live rosters like actually have them on it on the team or what happens to them. I have to look into that because if I can pick up Adam Wainwright, hell yeah, I'd do that. Be a cheap way to do it, but can't argue. Bo 
Bryce Harper plays for the Pirates. And back to us. So there's there's all the lineups. Sure, if you want to take a look at those closer, you can pause the video and see them. Now I gotta do this fixing our lineups because we don't have anybody sitting on our bench. We just have a million arms in the bullpen, even though our bullpen's gonna be fucking awful. So, I am actually going to send him down as well and bring up Tyler Matzik. Put him as a reliever for now. He may take over the starting job by the end of the season, but I have to wait and see. <clears throat> right now, I need to bring up. Castellanos. I'm gonna bring up Endo, and I'm gonna leave him in Triple A. See how he develops. Actually, I just gotta find somebody to play second base and shortstop. Not sure I have anybody other than Pettit, but I guess I'll use Pettit for now. I could, like, I, I would use Kalise, but he doesn't play second base as well, so I don't like that. And bring up the Buxton. Any Twins fans, fans out there, if he has a real nickname, let me know. I don't really follow the Twins too much, so forgive me. Alfonso Alonso, maybe the best name we have on our team. Hashtag Alfonso Alonso. Excuse me for hashtagging. I apologize for that. Alright. Okay, I think we got I think we're pretty good to go start the season. Take a look and see if I want to put anybody in. Definitely not taking Chris Bryan out. I might put J yeah, I'm gonna put Jared Dyson in for this guy just for now. Hopefully, we don't need a pinch hitter. And and we're facing lefties because we do not have any. We really need some batters that are good against lefties or we are going to get destroyed by them. I guess I should pay attention when I draft and look at some things like that. But what can you do? So let's. We're going to start off just by simulating the first month, April, see how we do, see where we're sitting. Trade offer, huh? Austin Romine. Or we Chung Wang. I might do this because I have a collection of young pitchers and he's only a C potential so I mean he's right there he could be good he could not but it also gives us another catcher because I'm pretty sure we're pretty thin at catcher yeah I mean Romain's gonna be better than Chris Stewart obviously cause Stewart's 33 and Jonathan Solano is probably just going to be just like Chris Stewart, max out at a mid 60s. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do this trade just to 
get a little more depth behind plate. Go send him down real quick. And back to the simulating. We are hovering around 500 at the moment. 12 and 10. Two games above 500. We are a half game out of first place. Thursday's action to see how it should Reds leading the division. I recall they had a very good rotation, so it doesn't surprise me. Let's go see what trades have been made so far. Heading into today. Looks like Andrew Kashner went somewhere. I didn't really read that, but yeah, Andrew Kashner went to the Royals. Who walked off to a victory in and then the only other trade so far is our trade with the Angels. Moment, the Braves are in third place in the NL East, five and a half games back. And then I'm gonna take a look at the trade block real fast. See what we can half game scrounge up here. Took on the Mets in Flushing, New York. The Nationals. I know we need some bullpen help by the. Three to two. As of today, the Mets. Josh Donaldson. Who is uh, Chris Bryant, my third baseman? Second in the division. Mm. Games back. The Tigers paid visit to the city. I would love to have Josh Donaldson. But then again, I'd be giving up on that youth movement, and I would be going against everything I drafted for, so I will pass. I guess that's just my ace fandom coming into it. The White Sox were in Minnesota to take on the Twins, and the White Sox were the victors. Unless I could convert. Josh Donalds into a first baseman, then I would draft him. The American League Central Division, six and a half games. The White Sox, or not draft him, trade for him. Excuse me. The Blue Jays paid visit to the Tribe. Uh, we'll see how. We'll see if he stays on the market. I mean, his salary is really low. I like that. So, was clutch. Hopefully, we can find something. The Indians. Now we go simulate this. Still hovering around that 500 mark. Now the Twins are interested in a trade. Another catcher. I don't want another catcher. Like, do I do I look catcher hungry to you guys? Get out of here with that crap. Two games above 500 still. I highly. Oh wow, Jose Fernandez is having an awful season for us. Good morning, baseball fans. Great Sunday action lies in. AJ Burnett's having a decent year. Baseball on Saturday. Just over two ERA. I like that. The Dodgers. Mark Burley, on the other hand, is having an awful season as well. But our fifth starter, Tom Kohler, is 4 0 with a 2.97 ERA. So our rotation is all over the place. The matchup against the Cubs. The Cubs came away with the win. The final score was. I mean, yeah, we're two and a half games out, so we still have a chance here. But our rotation needs to figure it out. Among the NL leaders in batting average, especially with June and July coming up, All Star break, trade deadline. We got to get. If we're, I say, if we're over 500 at. The trade deadline, I'll trade for a pitcher or two, see what I can do. Try to get rid of Mark Burley. I'm actually going to throw him on the block first. Uh, I'll do that later. I'm doing. So, Burley, I highly doubt I get any offers for him, though. Might throw AJ Burnett up there, just to see what I can get for him. Rice Harper. Was a fantasy owner's dream at the plate with three hits. And Anybody else I could throw on here? Yeah, I know exactly who I could throw on here, actually. Where is he? Visited the Big Apple to do with the there he is, Nick Swisher. Get out of here. Nobody wants you anymore. I'm also going to throw Byron Buxton up just to see what I can see if I get any good offers for him because I have pretty good outfield. I don't really need him unless I want to put him there. Trade this guy. I could always do that. 
but this guy's already more developed, and I like that a lot more. The only thing Buxton has is that speed. The Toronto Blue Jays paid visit to the Twins at Target Field. Actually, yeah, I'm going to trade Leo Cortez, put him on the block, and see what I can get offers for him. Now, let's check our trade block. Victory of the season. He is among the AL leaders in wins. The Detroit Tigers were in Anaheim to take on the and the Halos were victorious. The final five to three. The Yankees Doug Fister would be a good one to target. The boys from I mean, his ERA is really high, but was two to nothing. Jared Parker. Shit, he's still winning games, but I guess that comes back to the team he plays for probably. Leaders in wins. The Cleveland Indians visited the M's at Safeco Field in Seattle. Seattle was not really seeing too much. Colton Wong was a major force at the plate as he drove in four. The Red Sox paid visit to North. Yeah, nothing I can really get excited about right now. So just one last thing before I end this video. I'm gonna take a look at the league leaders. Carlos Santana is leading in batting average for the NL. Surprising. And then Corey Dixon on the eight. Opposite him in the AL. He's actually leading the whole majors right now. Carlos Santana is actually leading in home runs as well, tied with Bryce Harper. And Nelson Cruz has the most obvious. Seems like we just say the same thing every year. Nelson Cruz. And is a monster. Bryce Harper's RBI leader at the top two. They got a pretty good one two punch there. Daniel Murphy in the AL. And let's go to win leaders. It's a little unexpected. Ubaldo Jimenez. But this is a video game for a reason. Jeff Samarja, 8 and 1. But just over two ERA. Probably could win the Cy Young if he can keep that up. Anderson Alvarez has the lowest ERA. Jason Hamill has the lowest ERA in the majors. And that about wraps up the video, guys. So, till next time, everybody stay classy and subscribe.